Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use GoFormative.com to create fillable PDFs or online worksheets for your students to complete. This is something I've been getting a lot of questions about over the last week or so, and GoFormative.com is the tool that I've been recommending more than any other. Now, GoFormative.com is currently offering all of their services for free to schools and teachers that need it. So here we go in GoFormative.com. Now I'm signed into my account, and the first thing you wanna know is that you can create classes by importing a roster from Google Classroom or importing a roster from Clever or just doing it the old fashioned way of writing out your class name And we'll see here, I'm gonna change this one to comp sci. And we'll create it. Now, from here, I can have my students go to goformative.com slash join and use the class code to sign up to be a part of the class, or I can manually assign them usernames and passwords. You can also, and what I'm gonna show you today, I'm going to show you that you can also do this with guest students who aren't a part of a roster. So now to create that fillable PDF activity, that online activity, I'm going to go back to my formatives and click on new formative. And I'm going to give this a title, a word worksheet number one. And now I'm going to hit this plus symbol. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my own content, enhance a PDF doc or Google doc. And as you can see, you can connect your Google Drive to import anything you have there, or you can hit the My Computer button and upload from your computer. So I'm gonna upload this sample fillable PDF that I have right here. We'll see it's gonna process my file, and then it's gonna give me this file that I can add questions into. So let's click on this first line here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a short answer question. My question is, if the sentence is the rain in blank falls mostly on the plane, Where does the rain fall? And again, do the same thing here, do a short answer. And we'll say, you know, in this case, what did the fox do? He jumped. I'll also accept jump. Now, you may be looking at this and thinking, why don't you just use a text block? Text block is for me as the teacher to fill something in. It's not for the student to fill something in. Now, you can add as many questions as you like into your, into your fillable PDF. In my sample here, I only have two items, so that's all I'm going to do. You can also combine items or combine documents and have another document uploaded as part of the same activity, as part of the same assessment, or you could build in some of these additional questions without uploading a document at all. For the sake of time and simplicity, I'm just gonna work with this one PDF. So now I'm going to assign this and there's all of my classes that I've previously made or imported from Google Classroom. But what I'm gonna show you right now is the guest student option. We're gonna hit assign. And we'll see here, the prompt for students is to go to goformative.com slash join, and then use that code that's assigned to that particular assessment. This is a code that's different than the classroom. 
This is a code just for this one particular assessment or activity. You can see here we also have the option to link directly to it, post it in Google Classroom, or embed it into a web page or blog post. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way here by just using this class co this activity code. So here's what it looks like to a student who's now trying to fill this out. You go to goformative.com slash join, put in the activity code. They'll be prompted here to either log in and they can log into a GoFormative account and log into your class if you've created one, or they can simply join in like this by putting in a name and hitting the join button. Now they'll see the activity. They can fill that in and hit submit. And responses have been submitted. They can exit the assignment and they can log out. So now here on the teacher side of things, I'm back in my teacher account. I'll see that Bob Smith has completed the activity. Can click on Bob's name and I can see what he did, and it was automatically graded for me. Now, I didn't go through the point system with you here, but if I go back, you can see here, I can change the point values. I could have made them 10 point questions. And then when I view responses, we'll see, oh, Bob still has 100%, click on it, where does it fall in Maine? You see down here, I can type in feedback for the student and send that off to them. Can also give partial credit to a student by adjusting that little slider. So that's how you can create online activities using fillable PDFs in goformative.com. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.